I don't like it when you're videoing and not next to me. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Life with Brea. It's Brea. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so that you can see all my new content on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Today I am super excited because we're doing something that makes me so happy and today is another installment of Baking with Brea and I'm so excited because we have a really good recipe today. We are going to be making Dutch apple pie, my favorite thing on the whole planet. I'm not a cake girl. I love cookies but like pies, especially when they have a lot of crumble on top, it's like impeccable like i am so excited so we're gonna go to the store and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna make a couple of pies and then we're just going to chow down i am so excited all right go ahead and give us this a thumbs up if you're ready to see some apple pie okay so we are now back from the store we have all of our ingredients we have some lemons we have sugar flour brown sugar, and a whole bunch of apples. We also have some ground cinnamon and some ground nutmeg. And we also need butter. So we're gonna go ahead and prep all our ingredients and then we're going to get started. So for this recipe, we're going to need seven cups of peeled and finely sliced um, Granny Smith apples. So we're going to uh, peel these and then slice them so that they'll be ready to go into our pie filling. So I got this recipe off of Pinterest. I'm going to link it down below. This one is pretty simple. She doesn't use all the like, ingredients that are usually found in Dutch apple pie, so this one doesn't take as long. The most time consuming part is definitely peeling the apples and slicing them. But other than that, it shouldn't be too bad. because this is taking so long to peel these apples. Leave a comment down below if you know the way to peel apples faster. Can you buy like pre-peeled ones? <laughs> Probably not. But this is taking so long. But it does smell really good. I love green apples, so this is gonna taste really good once it's all done. For the amount of apples you need for this recipe, it says two and a half pounds per pie and two and a half pounds is about like for medium sized apples it's about eight for small ones probably about like 10 to 12 so these ones are pretty medium sized i think so we're just gonna use about eight of them by the way the pie crust that we decided to use is just the stated brothers like normal generic brand because these are the only ones that were nine inches you do need a nine inch pie crust and this is a deep dish one so we can put a lot of filling in there. And I got two and you're supposed to just leave it out on the counter because it will be frozen when you buy it. You're supposed to just leave it out on the counter so that it will get softer so that it won't taste weird once it goes into the oven. Now we are going to slice our apples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it in half and I'm just going to slice it kind of thin. I honestly think how you slice your apples is totally up to your own personal preference because I like mine, I like to have like a nice big bite of apple in my apple pie. But if you kind of just want little pieces, you can do that. Okay, so now all of our apples are chopped. So I'm just going to put them all, as you can see, I didn't make them super thin, but pretty thin. I'm going to put them all into a big bowl. And then I'm gonna cut up a lemon because we need to have a tablespoon worth of lemon juice and dump that on top. Okay, so I have my tablespoon and now I'm going to squeeze out a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm sure you could probably use lemon juice that's like in a 
um, like just in the squeeze bottle, but I like fresh lemon better than anything pretty much, so we're gonna do that. Then we need a fourth cup of sugar. So here's a fourth cup. I'm gonna fill it up with our cane sugar. And then I'm just gonna dump it all over the bowl of apples. Okay. Quarter cup of brown sugar as well. And now I'm just gonna dump that all over it. Does anyone else think that brown sugar is like literally disgusting? Unless it's mixed into something? Like it's flavor alone is disgusting. Then we need three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Then we need a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. So now I'm just putting the cinnamon on the apples. And then we need a pinch of nutmeg. So I guess this will be a pinch. And then we need a fourth teaspoon of salt. So now we're just mixing all the apples together with all of the sugar and flour and cinnamon. Cool. So the apple filling is done. We have a smaller bowl. And in the smaller bowl, we are going to put flour. So we're going to put a cup of flour. Okay. So in the recipe, the lady says that this makes a lot of extra stuff, but that's kind of the best part because the more crumbled, the better the pie, pretty much. So a cup of flour, a half cup of sugar, then we're going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon, And then we are also going to put in a half cup of butter, softened. Now we're going to get our hands dirty. Why would you leave your ring on? <laughs> so, note to self, take off your ring next time. Okay, so we have our topping. It looks like this, just like crumbly and buttery and sugary. And then we also have our apple filling, which looks like this. And we have already set our oven to um, preheat at 425. So we're gonna take out our pie crust, which are now nice and soft and we are going to fill it with layers of our apples okay and now we put our crust on all right and now it's ready to go in the oven And now it's going in the oven. So it's gonna be on 425 for 15 minutes and then it's gonna go down to 350 for 45 to 55 minutes. Okay, so it just came out of the oven. It looks like this. I think it looks really good. You can tell that it's hardened on top. But it's still a little bit flaky. I was careful and made sure it didn't burn. And the insides are all soft, so we're gonna see how it tastes. Okay guys, let's try this pie. It looks so delicious. It's got a thick layer of crust on top. I think it's gonna taste really good. Let's take a bite. Mm. 
Oh my god. This is incredible. This tastes so good. It's so crunchy on top, but soft in the middle. The apples are just soft enough and not soggy. This recipe is a win. What I will say is the crust that it is in, like the actual pie, the actual pie crust is not my favorite. But the crust that I put on top, the sugar stuff, and the actual apple filling is to die for. So I think the lesson in here is make your own pie crust, even though it adds like four hours onto the process. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm like dead right now. So good. Okay guys, so if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see new content every week. And every Sunday is Baking with Brea Day. So if you come, at, come watch on that day, you will get to see a new recipe every single week. Thanks for joining me on this baking experience. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you try this recipe and your whole family loves it. Alright, see you guys next time.